Okay, good morning and welcome to today's meeting of the Committee on Finance. I'm Council Member Daniel Drum and I'm the Chair of the Committee. Uh, we are joined today by Council Members Koslowitz, Cornegy, Rosenthal, Gerdenchik, Adams, Ayala, Moyer, Powers, Lewis, Diaz, Matteo, Gibson, Brooks Powers, and Van Bramer. Today, the committee will be voting on two items, proposed intro 1919A and a transparency resolution. Let's begin with the proposed intro 1919A, which I have sponsored that would amend the notification and reporting requirements related to the Department of Finance's Notice of Recorded Document Program. The program was established by Local Law 249 of, two of 2017 in an effort to help property owners combat deed fraud. We have seen instances and in complaints of deed fraud rise over the past decade or so in the wake of the mortgage foreclosure crisis and as property values in the city continue to rise. Deed fraud can be devastating, particularly to homeowners, and the targets of the fraud are typically seniors, immigrants, and people of color. Under the current system, DOF is required to notify any property owner when a deed-related or mortgage-related document is filed against their property with the city register to serve as an early warning system for property owners who may not otherwise know that a potential fraud is occurring. The legislation would require DOF to include information in that notification about what the property owner can do if they suspect the filing is fraudulent including who to contact for assistance, how to file a complaint, and how to report alleged criminal violation. With real property scams on the rise, our hope is that this piece of legislation will help in the city's efforts to combat deed fraud and help give homeowners the tools they need to protect their property. Next, we have the transparency resolution. The transparency resolution sets forth the new designation and the changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging, anti-poverty, and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. As with all transparency resolutions, council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any, of the, if any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the, organiza with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Disclosure forms must be completed and submitted prior to the vote on the transparency resolution and may be given or emailed to Chuck Davis Members of, the, uh, members of the General Counsel's Office are here to assist you if you have any questions regarding disclosures. Are there any questions on any items on the agenda? Seeing none, uh, I'm going to ask Matt DiStefano, Committee Clerk, to call the Financial Committee roll. Matthew DiStefano, Committee Clerk, Committee on Finance, roll call vote. All items are coupled. Chair Drum. Aye. Kozlowitz. Councilmember Coswitz votes aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Councilmember Van Bramer votes aye. Gibson. Aye. Councilmember Gibson votes aye. Cornegie. Aye. Rosenthal. I vote aye. Grodenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Ayala. Aye. Moya. Councilmember Moya votes aye. Lewis. Aye. Dharma Diaz. Aye. Brooks Powers. Aye. Matteo. Aye. Councilmember Matteo votes aye. By a vote of 14 in the affirmative. Oh, Keith Powers. Councilmember Powers. By a vote of 15 in affirmative, zero to negative, and no abstentions, the items have been adopted. Thank you very much. And we have one more. Council Member Amphrey Samuel. Okay, revised vote, 16 in the affirmative, zero to negative, and no abstentions.
Okay, and with that, this uh, meeting is adjourned at uh, 10.36 or 7 in the morning. Thank you. Yes, I do.